expends energy for no purpose, Raiden. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shah. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earthrealm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will... Will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earthrealmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Draco was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in. Molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> My husband Jared believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all... That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. 
With your permission. You may go. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earth Realmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, your majesty? <sighs> Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war! Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, general. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Navala Coast. As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. It's over. I have done it. <clears throat> May I assist you? Stay away, Earth Realmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. been eons. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. Yes. <laughs> 
sent to disrupt your sister's treatment and scandalize Outworld by revealing her illness. What? That's totally fake news! Princess, we were... Thank you, Goro. I have no stomach for Earthrealm lies. We should detain the Earthrealmers and the Tarkatan we found outside. At least until the Empress is ready to respond to this incursion. Agreed. But she must realize that this incident proves Earthrealm's bad faith. We must strike them now to protect ourselves. No. no they would not do this. There must be a misunderstanding. It is no misunderstanding, Princess. It is a confirmation of my prophecy. Left unchecked, Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. I apologize for not arriving sooner to defend your sister. I am glad she received her treatment. The Princess is safe, but the threat from Earthrealm remains. Yes. Quan Chi, when do you anticipate they will strike? Soon. Today's events were foretold in the final quatrains of the prophecy. Then I am right. We must act now, Princess. I will take your concerns to the Empress. It is for her to decide. What truly happened here, Sorcerer? That the Earthrealmers interrupted the Princess's treatment was happenstance. They were here to capture me for Liu Kang. You? Why? That I must investigate. For now, let us revel in our good fortune. The Earthrealmers' serendipitous arrival has given us ample evidence to convince the Empress of the truth of Quan Chi's prophecy. Conflict with Earthrealm is now inevitable. Not necessarily. The Empress has never been eager for conflict. If she resists, she will be replaced. Outworld needs a steadfast leader. A leader like you, perhaps. If my realm requires it of me... Kill the Earthrealmers. They cannot report back to Liu Kang. Their deaths will also feed the ire between realms. Two birds, one stone. these Earthrealmers we're looking for. You have their descriptions. You can at least tell me why they're here. What they've done. State secrets. Not for your ears. <laughs> What's the word? Go toward the stage. Then right to the portal gate. 
but there are soldiers and constables everywhere. Are you sure these are enough? One person spots us, and we are dead. And that's why I'll create a diversion. They're out for you too, Sizoth. To catch me, they must see me. <laughs> huh? Damn. You didn't tell me you could go full predator. Down, General. This is my problem, not the military's. Look. Size off. You know him? Who is he? Unimportant. But it means the Earth Realmers are here. Rico. Saved by a plucky comic sidekick. <laughs> if we die today, we die together. Not comic, but definitely plucky. It's unlike Shen Tsung to leave loose ends. Now that I'm free of him, I'll reveal your conspiracy to all of Outworld. <laughs> You'll do nothing of the kind. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Must go now. Boom. to entertain my offer. How would you know what I value? We are strangers to each other. I know that you wish to break free of Liu Kang's control, to gain your clan unrivaled power. I offer the means to do both. My realm and your clan have much in common. We both feel the pull of Liu Kang's leash. Once Outworld rules Earthrealm, you will be free to remake the Lin Kuei in any manner you see fit. Bihan, don't listen! We must stop them, not- Silence, Kui Liang. But brother- Obey your Grandmaster. Can you win this war? Soul Stealers are deadly, but they're not enough. You only think so because you don't understand their true purpose. Explain. 
Emperor Ying built this fortress during one of Earthrealm's most turbulent periods. Enemies beset him on all sides. He built a great army to protect his empire. They built a second one to protect him in the afterlife. This is Emperor Ying's dragon army. by fragments of souls. Once alive, they fight tirelessly, unburdened by remorse or pity. As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist the Lin Kuei. Turn in his grave if he saw this! He was a doddering old fool. He did us a favor having that accident. And I was right to let him die. Let him die? You said you tried to save him! A lie. Because you couldn't and still can't face the truth. Father had doomed the Lin Kuei to mediocrity. Now, we will achieve greatness. <laughs> May has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirm them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. How could I have so misjudged them? For Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity. For General Shao to condone it. They are not the men I thought them. You. How 
dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation! Don't move! Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? The Amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, Prattle! You both bend the knee to Outworld's new Emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle, not train with my weapons? I am more than prepared. <laughs> Tanya and your daughters, they are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. that you are party to Shao's treason. Know that it will cost you your life. I owe him mine many times over. <laughs> How your father fought to push you past your infirmities. Now you repay him by spitting on his ideals? Your revolt shreds every value he held dear. You are relieved, General. The amulet, your majesty. Must act quickly to save Earthrealm. Is that the command of my creator? No, your majesty. It is the request of a friend. Shang Tsung is gone, but he's not defeated. He will be back to renew his campaign. Not only against this timeline, but against all timelines. Our choice is clear. We must take the fight to him. Destroy any power he has to make war against us. Agreed. Cheng Sung is likely already gathering allies as I gathered you. We must best his efforts. Assemble an overwhelming army from across all timelines. to hide. We have banded together to rid all timelines of your evil. 
The threat you pose to them ends today. Such certainty, Liu Kang, that this battle will end in your favor. It can end no other way. Because across all timelines, the arc of history bends toward justice. Does it? In this timeline, it bends toward me. Behold, Liu Kang, the hell I unleash upon you. There's no time to waste. <laughs> Assist me, Quan Chi. Yeah. <laughs> 
You are almost there. <laughs> Only a little further, Shao. Follow me. Your defenses have failed, Shang Tsung. This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and Ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who will be eradicated. You and your followers. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine. Survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? And they called me the Chosen One. Did you expect less from me? Now to finish them. You have done more than enough. Please permit me to end this. May that be the last we see of you. What prompted this? Timeline. Without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses. Thank you for your aid, Xiao. May we one day meet again. <laughs>